Hey y'all, it's Kevin here, uh, and this is Pure Review. So if you are new to the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button. I review all kinds of products. And then if you find this video you're about to watch helpful, be sure to hit that like button, share with a friend, and if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comment section. Um, so let's go over what the product I'm gonna share with you today. It is a kitchen blender by a company called Home Geek. This is the box it comes in, um, pretty straightforward. Everything's well packaged and styrofoam and plastic and bubble wrap. Um, I'll include a link in the description to Amazon, which is where I got this from. So feel free to check it out, read other reviews on their site, and uh, see if this is a good fit for you. But let's cover the blender from head to toe, and then I'm going to blend up something just so you can see how well it works, and go from there. So first thing when you open it up, after you unpack everything, you will get a user manual. Um, the model number is HAT-9839DL. But um, it's easy to kind of know, it's just their 750 watt blender, which is also 27,000 RPMs. So once you open the blender, this is what it is all assembled. Uh, we'll take off the glass jar and cover the base here. So picking this up on the underside is where the fan is. Uh, it has plenty of vents to keep it from getting overheated. And then it has these four little feet, which are a rubbery, material and they kind of cause, because of this lip, it's a little suction cupping. So on your counter, it's not going to slide around. It holds very well. So you can kind of hear that, that it sticks really, really nice. Um, standard cord, also they have a nice big uh, cutout at the back so that way your cord can go any direction. You don't have to thread it through a, a very specific notch. On the top, this is where it links to the blender uh, to spin the blades. And then the controls on the front, very simple. It's got two speeds, one and two, and then you can go the other direction to pulsate. Um, so pretty straightforward. It is a perfect blender for doing things like smoothies, milkshakes, juicing. That's because of its compact size. You're about to see it's very easy to clean up. Um, so that's kind of the perfect market of it. I think. Uh, Home Geek makes more higher end blending if you want to uh, chop up other things. Uh, it also says it can make uh, nut butter. I've never actually tried that if dumping some nuts in here and supposedly it'll blend them really smooth. Uh, so let's go over the blending jar itself. It is glass and um, it is BPA free. It holds 48 ounces or um, basically six cups and everything's labeled on the side here. Um, and then it's also in milliliters on this side. It's got a little plastic um, cap here at the top, which also unscrews. So if you need to add more ingredients, you can easily do that. And I like the ones that actually screw in because um, that means they're not gonna leak. I mean, it's, it's nice and secure. Sometimes the flat ones um, get gunk around inside and everything. So very easy, you can unscrew this all, very easy to clean up and then another cool feature on this product versus other blenders is the blade removes. So it makes it super easy to clean. Um, so you just unscrew this and then out comes the blades and there's six of them. Um, and they're all angled. Uh, to, I'm sure they've, there's some science behind all that, but it all comes apart. So it makes it super easy to clean up uh, and make sure you get all the food underneath the blades, which um, when they're permanently stuck in the blenders, that makes it a little bit hard, harder. You got to soak it and all that. But because this piece comes out and this is glass, that means this is dishwasher safe. So just throw this in your dishwasher and it'll clean up the glass very nicely. Then when it's all said and done and dried off, just reinsert and then screw this, make sure it's nice and tight. Um, I've not had any leaking issues, which is uh, important to know. And then just put it in position. Now, when you put it in position, if you get it in a, a, like, you know, if you just throw it down and you don't like the handle right here or something like that, make sure you don't slide it while it's on the blender because then it could unscrew this. So put it where you want it and then you're good to go. So that's kind of the lay of the land on this blender. So let's go ahead and throw some ingredients in here and turn it on. I'll show you how the, the two modes and then the pulsating option, blend up something so you can see how well it works and we'll go from there. All right, we are back. So uh, we got our ingredients in here, our milks and our ice and our apple pieces. Um, 
and I want to show you how this works. So we've got it all plugged in. When you put on the lid, make sure to put the bigger part over the top so it doesn't leak out the front. And then we will turn it on. I'll do option one, option two, so that way you hear the different levels of sound and then the pulsating. So pulsating real quick. Pretty straightforward. And then one. And you also notice there's a light around here that turns on um, when you have it on the various settings. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, we'll grab a glass here. And then we'll just pop off the top. And I put a little ice in here, so I think it's a little bit more um, chunky here, but there you go. Um, so kind of blends up and uh, you'll see all the little apple pieces are um, nice and finely chopped. Um, and that is basically it. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to hit me up in the comment section. Uh, I do typically respond. And until the next video, you guys take it easy. Congrats, you're a rock star. You made it to the end of the video. Now, if you really want to become a legend, help me out, hit that subscribe button. And then it always helps also if you hit that like button and share these videos. Till the next one, you guys take it easy.